In the first part of understanding this code book, we talked about the first four chapters. And we related that to a job site atmosphere. In chapter one, we described as safety. Chapter two, we described as planning. Chapter three, we described as rough in, as you would do on a job site. And chapter four, we described as a trim out, the final connections. Let's talk about the rest of these chapters. We got this bracket here, and it says chapter five, six, and seven. They're all grouped together, and it says supplements or modifies chapters one through seven. As we discussed in the beginning, we talked about all first four chapters applied generally. That means that that is really the code book. The latter part of the code is some specialties. So these are the different specialties that supplement or modify the first four chapters. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what to do on the board and we're gonna quadrant this out like we did in the first and we'll do go five, six, seven, eight. And I'll show you what that looks like on a board and we'll put down some information about those. Now what this is doing is kind of mimicking the idea of the layout of the code. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna write down the important parts of those different chapters. The first thing I want to do is write this word special, referring to chapter five. And then go down to chapter six and write this word special. Over here to seven, write this word special. And then chapter eight, we're going to write communications, which is special. Let's talk about chapter five. Chapter five is special occupancies. So those are places or areas, not your normal places or areas, not, not an office building, not a bank, not a dwelling unit you know, or a house. In chapter five, one of the areas that we talk about gets a lot of people confused is our hazardous locations. So I want you to write this, hazardous locations. And that's uh, the first whole section of chapter five. Then we get into healthcare. Most of us would call those hospitals, but the word healthcare does not only include hospitals. It's all the different places that could be a healthcare provider. It's a special location. It's not a typical office. Then we get into all the different places that you could think of that, that are not your typical place. We've got some agricultural buildings or agricultural locations. Then we've got like your mobile homes and parks. And we've got floating buildings and marinas. Again, not your normal places. Now in chapter five, we got these special locations or special occupancies. What this, the way the code is written is you're gonna install your wiring system just like you do in all the first four chapters. You're gonna plan it out. You're gonna make sure safety's there. You're gonna install conduits and raceways and boxes and wires just like you would normally do. You're gonna do final trim out just like you normally do in the first four chapters. But you're gonna have some extra pieces that are added to. Like in hazardous locations, you're gonna to have to worry about can you use certain types of wiring systems. You might have to upgrade to, to a heavier grade wiring system. So this modifies the first four chapters. Talk about chapter six. Chapter six is special equipment. So this is not your normal everyday equipment. Now the word equipment is a very generic term. It means everything. Uh, some of the heaviest hit items in chapter six is signs. Okay, signs not your normal piece of equipment. And there's other weird stuff in there like moving sidewalks. We'll put those in like in the airports, elevators, you know, x-ray equipment, anything that's weird, not normal, and it's a piece of equipment, it's probably gonna be in chapter six. Another thing that gets people confused, because in chapter five, we talk about places or areas. It kinda gets you confused because pools aren't special equipment. But you gotta realize, electrically speaking, a pool is just electrical equipment hooked to a big body of water. So you gotta realize the pool itself might be a place or an area, but the electrical stuff associated with that pool is just electrical equipment. And okay, moving past six, which was special equipment, we're gonna move over here to chapter seven. Now, chapter seven is special, but it's special conditions. 
With that, I want you to understand this. We could be in a special occupancy, which is a place or area. We could be uh, using some special equipment that's in chapter six, but we're talking about a condition about the equipment or about the area. So special conditions in chapter seven, we get into emergency. Emergency systems. Now I want you to write systems there, not uh, equipment. Emergency systems, that's the wiring of an emergency system. Then we got uh, legally required systems. And again, that's very specialized and that would be like for uh, a burglar alarm where they call the police, uh, a fire alarm where they call the fire department, uh, or like our 911 systems, right? Legally required. We don't want those first responders to not have power. So legally required systems are in there. Then we got optional standby systems. The reality of these three systems, emergency, legally, or optional, they can all be the same products. A generator. But the way you wire things up in emergency systems is very special. It's a special condition. The way you wire things up in a legally required system is different than the emergency system, but it's a special system. The way you wire things up in an optional standby system is different than the emergency or legally required. So it's the wiring methods, the conditions required for those different things. Another area that's in here is remote control. So we get a little different wiring method requirements for remote control. Uh, usually in the control type stuff, we're talking about low voltage controls or line voltage controls, and we got some wiring methods that's required for that. Uh, another thing that's in there that people get confused because when I write this down, you'll think something different. It's fire alarm. But this is specific to the electrical. It's not the fire alarm system because that's another code book. That's NFPA 72. Our national electric code is NFPA 70. We're just talking about the electrical parts of the fire alarm system. We're not talking about the actual design of the fire alarm system or where things are required to be put. And then one that may throw you for a loop is optical fiber cables. Yes, it's in the chapter seven, it's a special condition. It's one of those things, I don't think it really fits in chapter seven being a special condition, but it's thrown in chapter seven because they didn't fit it in anywhere else. It's one of those oddities. But we have information about optical fiber cables, how they're to be installed, special conditions, chapter seven. Okay, chapter eight, again, it, it stands alone. It does not associate itself with any of the other chapters in the code. Communication systems or communications kind of especially of our trade, we can kind of identify it like this. We got communication, right? Which encompasses what we think of teledata. But also we got CCTV and we got radio, then we got uh, broadband. And then when we talk about radio, we got the antenna. So I'll throw antenna out here. You know, everything associated with a communication system where we transmit and receive, we got receiving stations, we got transmitting stations, all do with uh, CCTV, radio, and antenna stuff. And with all this, in our trade, if you're taking a state exam, per, per se, later on, you're gonna need to know where this is. But on a job site, most of the time, we've got a special group that comes out and they use a higher uh, design factor than the National Electric Code requires. This is kind of the layout of the last four chapters of the National Electric Code. We'll talk about chapter nine uh, just briefly. Chapter nine, again, is the tables. They're, they're gonna help you uh, to figure some things out. The annex is in the back. Again, it's more informational to give you kind of like a, kind of a background on some of the pieces of the National Electric Code. And that's just information that comes from other sources. It's stuck in the National Electric Code for your aid in designing.